That was a little bit of iron oxide that I put onto the bottom. What I'll do is just let it dry, and then I'll scratch out my name and the year. And I think we're ready to go. Let's just kind of lift the camera up so you can kind of see. Nice little lip, or nice little foot ring right there. Um, didn't lose too much of that form. It's actually really thin over here. I don't leave that much. I don't leave that much material at the bottom. Uh, maybe like a little triangular wedge. Um, but the interior of the pot has a very similar curve to the outside. Um, so the weight feels pretty good. It feels pretty light, even though this is a really big pot. Probably two, maybe two and a half pounds. So got all the uh, got all the bats removed, and now that this one's dry, it'll dry like that for about a week. Um, yeah, let's take this guy out. So actually, there's a little too much material here at the bottom, so I'm gonna have to take care of this and kind of clean it up just a bit.
Alright, so looks like we're done with this second part. What I'm doing is putting on the last bit of iron oxide at the bottom of this pot so I can scratch in my name. I think this will turn black inside uh, the kiln when I fire it. But it all depends. I'm not really sure what the characteristics of this clay um, look like or are because uh, never used this clay this is called half and half so it looks like the next step is going to be to go go back into the office open up illustrator and then what I'll do is create some kind of artwork that will go on the outside of these pots and then once the artwork is all set up then I can do some kind of a decal transfer and uh, yeah, then we'll be back in the pottery. All right, thanks for watching.